everyone God sent, God puts a blessing in his or her mouth to bless. A messenger of God is a messenger of peace, is a messenger of good news. What we preach is good news. So this morning, the Lord bless you and make you great. The Lord will deliver you from demonic and the forces of wickedness that gang up against you shall fall down in the mighty name of Jesus. You will rise above this challenge and this problem. The Lord will empower you to be a blessing to your generation. You will not die, you will live. You will overcome this problem in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is with you as a mighty, terrible one. Whatsoever is making you afraid shall be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. You are going great and greater. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Good morning. You are welcome to today's edition of I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. God has sent me again to you, put a word in my mouth to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you, and to bless you. So this morning, I pray that the glory of God will shine with the spirit of understanding as you hear this word. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Today, I want to speak on this topic which I titled, Called to be a Blessing. Every one of us on planet Earth is called to planet Earth. Coming to planet Earth is a calling. If you are born to this planet, you are called to do something. There is no one who came here who does not have one assignment or the other. Whatever assignment you, you are given is the call that you are given to come and fulfill here. And so we are called, all of us are called to be a blessing, a blessing to our world, a blessing to our generation, a blessing to our nations, a blessing to our families, and a blessing to ourselves. You see, this is the mandate of God for you and I to be a blessing. Whatever we do to ourselves or to other people that does not bring blessing is an error. Whatever you do to bring somebody down is an error. And God understands. If you can just say, Lord, I am sorry and repent, God will forgive and you will move on. But ultimately, whatever you do, your assignment must culminate in bringing you know, a blessing to somebody around you. Whatever you do must bring joy to somebody. Whatever you do must, you know, help somebody to progress. You know, whatever you do, the assignment you are given must, you know, contribute to the promotion of your world. You see, that is just the truth. Isaiah chapter 61 from verse 1 says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he has called me to preach the gospel to the poor. Now, if I am called to preach the gospel to the poor, it means that God does not want people to remain poor. You see, he has called me to bind up the brokenhearted. If there is anyone who is brokenhearted, it means there is a gospel that can make the brokenhearted to be encouraged, to be motivated, to be inspired. And that is the assignment God gave me. He said he has called me to bind up the brokenhearted, to set at liberty those who are in captive. I don't know, whatever captivity you may find yourself, God sent me to you with his word to set everyone who is in captivity free. The word of God that I speak to you every day has got the power to set you free. When I speak this word, it is not me that sets you free. It is the word of God that I, that I speak in my mouth that sets you free. There is no man who can set another man free. But when a man becomes the messenger of the truth, it is the truth that sets people free. Look, I mean, John chapter 8, 32. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The word of God that we preach, which is equivalent to the truth, is what makes you free. When you hear the word and you believe the word, you're going to be free indeed. Because the word of God is the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, 
the truth, and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. When you hear the word, the life of God will flow because the word of God is the life of God. John chapter 1 verse 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. All things were created by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. You see, the word brings light. The word brings deliverance. The word brings power and makes power available to defeat any situation and any problem. You are called to be a blessing to your generation. Some people, maybe they even call themselves pastors and prophets, but they are fond of cursing other people. When you curse other people, you are doing a wrong thing. You must repent. Luke chapter 9, when you read from verse 48, Jesus is talking about, you know, the disciples started by talking about who's going to be the greatest among them when they get to heaven. And you see, they were arguing, but Jesus knew what they were thinking in their heart. They didn't say it out. You know, they, 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 they didn't bring it to Jesus Christ's attention. But he knew what they were debating in their hearts. And he brought a young little boy and set, in, set him in the midst of them and said to them, anyone who will humble himself like this boy, like this child, is going to be the greatest in heaven. When you receive Jesus, just as a, a, a child receives gifts, you will be blessed in heaven. You will be the greatest in heaven. You see? He said to them, the one that will be the greatest among you must be the servant of all. The servant of all. The greatest among you must serve. Greatness is service. It is not cursing people. Then when you read that Luke chapter 9 from verse from verse 48 forward, you're going to get to where they said, John said, he said, we saw somebody, I think that is verse 49, he said, we saw somebody casting out devils in your name, and we stopped him. And Jesus Christ said, no, don't stop him. Anyone that is not against us is for us. He's blessing people in my name. Let him bless people. Some of you, you criticize people who are blessing, you know, other people in the name of Jesus. You criticize them. You talk bad against them. But what they do, they are blessing people in the name of the Lord Jesus. It happened in the Bible. And Jesus said to John, don't stop anyone that is preaching in my name. Don't stop anyone that is doing good in my name. They may not follow us, but they are part of us. You think it's only your church people that God recognizes. Some people think it's only members of their church that we go to heaven. You don't know the word. Some of the people in your church may even miss it. It is not only your church that we go to heaven. It is not only those who follow you that we go to heaven. You see? Jesus said anyone that's, that is not against us is for us. You see? And uh, when you continue to read further, they were attempting to enter into a certain city. But those city, they said no. They, they rejected Jesus. And Peter and John said, now let's call fire down to destroy them. Jesus rebuked them. He said, you don't know the kind of power I gave you. You don't know the kind of spirit you have. The Son of Man have not come to destroy men's life, but to save them. Don't do it. Don't curse them. Don't destroy them by the power that I gave you. You are called to be a blessing when you are fighting people. Don't curse them. Don't pray against them. Don't go and stand and say, Lord, I pray against this man. He hurt me. No, you are not called to curse. You are called to be a blessing. 
when they offend you, Jesus told you what to do. He said, forgive them. Forgive them. When they offend you, you are clearly told what to do. Forgive them. Forgive them. Forgive them. Forgive them is a command of Jesus. You are called to be a blessing, not a curse. No, he offended me. I'm going to pray against him. You are praying to God, your father and his father. You think God is your father only? <laughs> you have just made the greatest mistake of your life. As he is your God, he is their God. As he is your father, he is their father. As he loved you, he loved them. Forgive them. That is the gospel. Gospel is the good news. Is the good news of the kingdom. In fact, gospel means extremely good news that sounds to be too good to be true, and yet it is true. This is the gospel called to be a blessing. Are you cursing people who offended you? It's an error. You must stop it. Are you cursing people who are doing something wrong against you? It's an error. Don't do it. We are called by Jesus to bless our enemies and those who persecute us. We must pray for them. That is the command of the master. And let me tell you, it doesn't matter who is doing it. It is wrong because that is contrary to the word. But let me balance it. There are some people who have sold their hearts to the devil. There are some people who have gone too far. They have gone diabolical. They have supped with the devil. They are demon incarnate. The Bible says we are not fighting against flesh and blood, but against principalities. There are some people who are powers and principalities. We must cast them down. We must rebook them. We must, you know, we must cast them down through our power that God has given to us. He said, behold, I give unto you power. We are giving power to destroy demonic forces of darkness, not people. So deal with the spirit not with the people. This is the word of God. You are called to be a blessing. I don't know if you understand this, but I pray that God will give you understanding. You are called to be a blessing. They may offend you. Forgive them. You are called to be a blessing. Don't engage in cursing anyone. This is the word of the Lord to you. Thank you for listening. I hope you are blessed by this. You are able to hear this because of the partners of I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. Thank you, partners. Please, if you love this, can you please rebroadcast re re this to your friends and to your loved ones? Get somebody blessed. I'm sure God is going to bless you because this will touch somebody and change something in somebody. Thank you again for sending it. If somebody loved you, sent this to you by a rebroadcast. Can, and you want me to send it directly to you. Maybe the one who rebroadcast to you may not be able to rebroadcast tomorrow. Can you save this number with I prevail? The number is plus 2774030281. Can you save that number and um, send me this simple message on WhatsApp or Telegram? The message is sent to me. Just send me this message, sent to me. From tomorrow, I will begin to send it to you. Thank you again, and remember, you are called to be a blessing. Therefore, I say, be blessed, and remain blessed.